All right, got my next grill here, and I'm having issues with just uh, grease coming off the uh, food that I'm cooking and then catching fire and creating a whole bunch of flames and burning my food. So I thought that maybe I could remedy that problem by switching to lava rocks. And here's the model number of the grill that I'm converting to lava rocks, 720 0830H. Currently, there is nothing out there that I could find to convert this to lava rocks, but uh, I think I've figured out a way to do it. So I bought this grate off Amazon. And I got these uh, lava rocks, seven pound bag for four dollars and some odd cents, pretty much almost five bucks at Home Depot. Alright, so here's the lava rocks that I bought from Home Depot. They were only four dollars and some odd cents. Yeah, four forty seven. So I go to the store and get that price. And you need two bags. So this is the grate that I got for it. It is uh I only paid seventeen ninety eight for it which is a decent deal. Let me know if you find something that's better. But this is what I put the lava rocks on. It's a ceramic covered iron. Eventually I'm sure it will uh, start to flake off and rust, but we'll see how long that takes. I'm going to show you how I set this up for lava rocks. So first thing we need to do, these get pretty dusty and I just want to get them cleaned out. So I'm going to Cut some slats uh, down at the bottom here with scissors and then run water down through it to clean it out. So. All right, looks good. All right, so now I'm going to take off my grilling grates here. And then just take these out completely. Now I got the new grate that fits down in here. To put the lava rocks on, so now I'm going to go ahead and start uh, putting the lava rocks in and evening it out. Okay, I've got quite a collection here, so now I need to put the uh, grates back on and see if they fit. All right, let's, looks beautiful, so let's try it out. So just to give you a good look at it, how it looks here, got a pretty 
well filled up and none of it's really touching the grates. And it comes up close here where it's closer so you want to make sure that more of the smaller rocks are up front. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty evenly covered so I'm going to go ahead and grill something. Alright, got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs here that have been marinating in uh, buttermilk and paprika for three days. So this ought to be pretty good. So it took a while for the lava rocks to uh, dry out, but they should be good now. So something I have noticed is the temperature stays pretty regular. It, it doesn't really jump up really high like it has been. Uh, it stays, it goes up kind of slowly and then kind of regulates around um, 400. And I got I got everything set on high right now. So that's good. That's kind of good. All right, let's take a look at them again. Yeah. Didn't have to deal with a whole bunch of fire just flailing everywhere when I was flipping everything. So that definitely it seems to regulate the temperature really good, and it doesn't uh, create the huge flames just coming out of the uh, grill when whenever I'd flip uh, whenever I'd flip anything. So looks like it's doing its job, and it looks pretty good. So everything worked out real great. It regulates the heat much better now with the uh, lava rocks in there and um, it definitely kept the flames from just shooting up everywhere around the food and burning it to, to a piece of coal so it looks good to me and I forgot to mention the other ingredient there which was minced garlic so it's uh, buttermilk paprika and minced garlic that I marinated all that in now it's time for the real test uh, frozen hamburger patties let's see how this works out as far as causing any fires. Alright, let's look at them. Yeah, there's some small fires. see how they make it to the end. All right, let's take another look. I mean, I am getting some minor fires and uh, flare-ups, but definitely not as bad as it was.
Now this time the uh, lava rocks don't really seem to be regulating the temperature around 400. Now it's definitely going up. I'm not sure what the difference was. Maybe it's because I had more meat. I'm not real sure, but whatever. All right, let's take the last two off. And there is there is some fire down there, but it's not really near as bad as what it was. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and leave a like, leave any comments on any suggestions or any idea on, on how to make this any better.